everybody! Today I wanted to show you what is in my teacher bag. I am currently putting everything in, getting ready for tomorrow, which is a teacher work day for me. Um, and I figured I had this one requested and I would go ahead and just show you what's in my bag. So, um, my bag is a little big. <clears throat> this is my bag. It is a orange, rather large tote bag. Nothing super special. It's patent leather. My mom actually got this for me probably about two years ago. I want to say a year or two years ago. Um, I like to pull this one out during my fall time because it's orange. It's very Halloween and fall-esque. So it works out perfectly. Um, the brand, for those of you who care, I don't know. Let me see. It's Bowden Real Leather. I think that's what it's called. Bowden. B-O-D-E-N. If you know the actual pronunciation, please leave a comment down below. So, um, it's a large tote bag. On the inside, it is a super cute um, navy and white, like white background with navy polka dots. It's really adorable. It doesn't have a long strap. It's just your plain old shoulder straps. It's a shoulder strap bag. Um, and it just buckles in the front. Now, this one, um, ah, I got it to work. It buckled. So it buckles up like this. Um, I like it. I can fit pretty much everything that I need in it. The majority of the time, I don't even have it buckled. It just stays open the entire time. Um, which is dangerous because my bags have a tendency to fall over. So I have to be very careful when I put my bag down. So I'm going to set this down so that I can show you guys what's in my bag. Um, the first thing that I keep in my bag that I take with me everywhere is my laptop. Now I just have, and this case is really old, I actually had this with my old Mac. Um, but it is just a blank, a plain black sleeve for my MacBook. And I have a, just a MacBook Pro, nothing special, nothing super fancy. And I carry this with me every day to school because a lot of my files are inside of my Mac. Um, so I'm pretty much emailing and doing everything from this computer, computer versus doing from the one at the school. So it's my baby. The next thing I have is my teacher planner. Um, a lot of you, if you are subscribed to my channel, have seen this one. Um, this is just a paint planner that I created. Um, it's being used very nicely at the moment. Um, so I took this around with me because it keeps a lot of my information, my phone numbers, my emails. It keeps um, my teacher calendar in there, my lesson plans are in there. Anything that I have to kind of to do is in there. At the moment I'm getting ready for teacher conferences so I have just some pages that I need to be reviewing and looking at. I also keep I'm looking for it. Um, I keep my math calendars in there from the county. I also have my pretty much my layout for the nine weeks that we have and that's going to be in reading and writing so I know which standards that I'm going to be teaching so if I do decide to do a little bit of planning at home I can always just pull out my sheet and um, look to see what it is that I need to be teaching for that week. So I always 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 keep this with me. The next thing that I keep inside of my bag is my iPad. I usually carry around one of my iPads. This one is just a mini that I carry around. A lot of the times I will use Evernote or Google Drive when I have meetings. Um, this is usually what I'm typing them in. I don't like to tend, I don't tend to keep all of my meeting notes in paper because let's face it, we have enough paper that we have to deal with and for me to have to write things down on another sheet of paper that I have to figure out where to put it and how to maintain it and then if I'm ever really going to look at it again, that's not going to happen. So I put it inside of this. 
The next thing that I keep inside of my bag is another bag. Um, I keep this little bag and I tend to, it will never be the same, but I have like a, a, a bunch of these, probably 10 of them. Um, and I will keep one in my bag because typically if I have something that I have to do um, or I need to take it home to finish because I just don't have the time to do it at school, um, I have an extra bag to be able to stick it inside of because not everything is going to fit inside of my teacher bag since it is already jam packed full with a bunch of other stuff. So I keep this thing so that I can tote things back and forth. The next thing I have inside of my bag is a little cosmetic case. Now, it does not hold cos cosmetics. It is actually a kind of a supply holder for myself. I will carry this to my meetings. I have it out um, on my desk whenever like I start the day, I go ahead and just set it out on my table so that I have all of the things that I kind of tend to go towards throughout the day. So I can show you, it's literally not organized. It's just a bunch of stuff inside of it. I keep, in this little, in this little flap right here, I keep, my husband gave me this little contraption and it's actually really handy. Um, it's a screwdriver get the top off so it has different little heads that I can um, switch them out so if I ever need a little mini screwdriver I have one and you'd be surprised how many times I've actually needed to use this um, sometimes my little games that I keep in my classroom and this one's not wanting to fit back in but sometimes the games that I have in my classroom like that require batteries I use some of them for my um, my intervention kids and those things will sometimes have screws that I would have to be able to change the batteries out. So this is pretty handy and nifty to have inside of my pouch. The next thing I have are just a few pens. Now, I have been addicted to flare pens. I think most teachers have been addicted to flare pens. Well, my new obsession is from... These pens are from Target. Now I have like the really bright neon colors. I would like to get the kind of primary colors. Sooner or later I will eventually get those. But these are called the Stedtler, 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 Stedtler Tri Plus Fine Liner in neon. But they're really awesome. Um, I, I like the way these are kind of in a triangular shape, so it fits really nice on your hand. Um, it's also a really, really small point, which works out fantastic in my planner. And I'm not talking about my teacher planner, I'm talking about a different planner. So, fantastic. The next thing I keep inside of my little pouch is just a pair of craft scissors. Um, these, I want to say I got these from Hobby Lobby. I'm not really sure though, but they're fantastic. They're very small, but they're fabulous scissors that I like to keep inside. Up here. Um, another thing I keep inside are just some little dot stickers, and I use these inside of my personal planner, um, and these kind of correlate, the colors correlate to a certain aspect of my life like if it's for school if it's for um, one of my kids my other child and then if it's for husband or blog or etc I don't remember to be honest I also keep um, stamps I have little stamps and they go with a stamp block and then I keep ink inside of my pouch now this, um, these I like to use in my personal planner. I like them because they have different little labels that you can just kind of put down to make your little to-do lists. So I have like plan, call, watch, email, read, um, to-do, shopping, wish, birthday, anniversary, etc, etc, etc. I also like the fact that it has YouTube, film, post, Facebook, Instagram, Etsy, um, and they have really cute little weather stick stamps on there too. So these are really nice to have and I like to use them inside of my personal planner. Some other things I have are, I have a glue stick that I like to keep um, inside of my planner. And then I also keep a 
single hole punch. Now the single hole punch is for whenever I want to put something inside of my cleaner but I don't have anything um, to be able to clip it with or I want to hole punch it just to keep it a little bit more permanent. I have something really quick that I can just take another sheet, measure it up and just punch some holes right there in the middle of a staff meeting. Works out perfect. I also keep an eraser and I love me some pink pearl erasers. I love the way they smell when they come out of the package and they're fantastic. I could not be without my pink pearl eraser. I will also keep some tabs, some colored tabs in my cleaner. Um, I absolutely love these tabs. I will use them in my small group and if you haven't seen that video I will link it there. But I referred to these tabs at one point in the video instead of using um, highlighter tape. You could use these because it's so easy for the kids to pick up but I also use these inside of my planner as well. So these are good to have around. I also keep a, it's really dirty. I keep an adapter for my laptop um, just so that I can be able to connect it to my projector if I wanted to show anything from my laptop onto my smart board. I have a way of doing that. So I keep that in there. And it wouldn't be a little carry-all without my little paper clips. I keep paper clips in here and I also keep these cute little bitty, um, they're called binder clips, right? But they're small, they're mini, mini, mini binder clips. But I keep that in there too. So that is all the things that I have inside of this cosmetic case. And I forgot to mention that if you are curious as to where I got this, I got it at Target. So I picked it up at Target. I don't know if they have this pattern anymore. I don't think they do have this pattern anymore, but they have tons and tons of cute ones. So Target is my best friend. I get a lot of things from Targets. So the next thing that I have in my bag is a DIY Midori that I made over the summer. And um, I kind of got into a kick of watching planner videos. So I got really gung-ho and excited about it and went out and bought leather so I can make my own Midori. And yeah, this is what it looks like. It came out really nice. I actually really, really love it. So here's what I have inside of this. Um, I get my little inserts from Target. These are just your plain old Target brand. Um, these are dots on the inside. It has dot paper. It works out really perfect for what I need. But I will scrapbook them, make them really cute. This first one that you see in here has um, a ton of lists that I use. I have Photoshop and video thoughts and YouTube lists and um, when I was creating my data binder I had that in there. Just a ton of different things that I just need to keep track of and I need to write it down because let's face it I'm going to forget it. Within probably about 10 or 15 minutes I'm going to forget what I was um, wanting to do. So I will keep them all in here and I have a place that I can always refer to it. Another thing I have inside of it is a little pocket that I created and I don't really use it. I think it's cute. By golly George is it cute, but I'm not gonna use it. I haven't found anything to use it for, but I still keep it in here because it makes me happy. Um, I also have a, another insert that keeps kind of all my book um, study thoughts in there. Um, we read a lot of books and for my professional development or just for personal, um, development that I'm doing and I will keep all of those thoughts inside of this so that I can go back and refer to it if we're having some type of a group discussion so it's a great way for me to also just keep track of um, what it is that I'm doing and I tend to in my um, my bag I will also keep a book that I am studying with my group at that time the one that I have right now is actually on my Kindle so I keep it on my phone um, it is the oh by golly George I have to look this up now. Let me tell you what book we're studying. I am reading Ladybugs, Tornadoes, and Swirling Galaxies, and it is an English language learners discover their world through inquiry. It's about project-based learning, which is what my school is focusing on this year, so I'm reading that. And 
I am also reading, I'm do my little cover here, Leaders of Their Own Learning. Transform, transforming Schools Through Student Engaged Assessment. So these two books that I'm reading right now, um, if I have any kind of thoughts or anything that I'm doing, I will keep it inside of here so that I could always refer back to it when I'm having my group discussions. Now this blank one that you've seen is something that I am currently working on and I have not scrapbooked it, I have not done anything to it, but I had this idea and I think I had it about two weeks ago and I have yet to do it. It's been a little crazy. So what I'm planning to do with this is, and I don't know how many other mamas have had this problem, but let me know down in the comments if you think that this is a fantastic idea and you want to try it. But I am notorious for being a horrible dinner planner. Um, I have full intentions to try to be a really good dinner planner. I created a nice little binder to have it be a dinner planner and I have a cute little board over here that has Monday through Friday and planning out my meals and it never happens. It doesn't. It's just not going to happen. So what I thought I would do is a lot of the times I'm, I'm that person that I'm driving home and I'm like, I have to get something for dinner and I don't remember what's in the recipe that whatever it is that I'm craving that I want to eat. So what I'm going to do is put a compilation of all of our favorite meals in this and keep it inside of here so that I can refer to it when I have to go to the grocery store to pick up some dinner items. Isn't that brilliant? I thought it was pretty brilliant. So that's what that's going to be for. And yeah, I had a sweet mama one here that gave me this little, it was a bracelet actually, and it says learn and never quit. And I loved it so much that I just wanted to put it here so that I would always keep it because I, I don't tend to wear a lot of um, bracelets because during teaching and stuff I feel really hot and constricted. So I have to be a minimalist when it comes to that. And yeah, it fits perfect here. The other thing that I keep inside of my teacher bag is my personal planner. Um, this is a Kiki K in peach color and I can't remember exactly um, what kind of planner it is. It is their summer 2015 line, I believe, summer or spring 2015. But I just got it recently and I absolutely love it. They have, the leather is just so soft, it is beautifully crafted. Um, it is by far my favorite. So in a, my teacher planner, and it is probably a hot mess right now, but um, I keep lots of little different things inside of here. The calendar that I'm using right now is the DIY fish, if you can see that. So I will be using those. I'll let you know if I like them. I've only been using them for about a month and a half now, so I'm still trying to learn and tweak things to make it fit my, my needs and what it is that I um, am able to do. So, yeah, it's my Kiki K planner. All right, I'm starting to get down to the very last items inside of my bag. So, um, I keep my charger to my Mac inside of here. I also keep my badge that is on a lanyard that I like to wear it with and I have in the past when I first started teaching I wouldn't I didn't like wearing lanyards I wanted to be really cute and wear it kind of down at the bottom and etc etc yeah that all changed as I started getting into teaching and realized that oh I was forgetting my key oh I was forgetting my badge and my whistle and all that good stuff. So I got, my husband actually got this one for me because my last one broke, but just a simple superhero, because we are the superheroes in my classroom, superhero um, lanyard. And yeah, I wear this one every day and the kids love it. They think it's so cool. They always make some type of really cool comment about it. Let's see, I also keep my sunglasses. And I teach my kids to know where my sunglasses are so that when it's time for us to go out to recess, I have my one really, really responsible student who will come and grab my sunglasses for me so that I will never forget them because I cannot stand for the sun to be in my eyes when we're out on recess. I also have a lipstick. I am loving this one. It is the... Lasting Finish by Kate 
lipstick in Rosetto number 17 and it's um L'Oreal Rimmel it's really really pretty it's the one that I'm wearing right now so I like this one I also keep highlighters inside of here and then people make fun of me for this but I keep one of these and this is super old school y'all and I saw these at the dollar store and I picked up no lie like five or six of them because I love them that much and they write so well it is those multi color changing pens but when I go to do my when I go to do my assessments and I am doing them like for the second or third or fourth time however many times it takes I like to change up color so it's easy for me to just have one of these and I can um, do it in a different color and be able to see what my kids have um, progressed in so I keep one of these in there I also keep headphones nothing fancy um apparently I keep blush in here and notes you never know when you need to write a note down typically I keep that inside of my planner I don't know why it's sitting in my pocket so yeah so let me go ahead and tell you two that in my bag, you're not going to see a lot of like makeups and, um, you know, deodorants and things like that. I will tell you that make some type of a spot in your room where you have some kind of a basket that goes in your closet or just something that you have multiples of everything. I have deodorant, I have extra makeup in there because I have been known to wake up either late and I don't have time to put my makeup on so I have just something quick that I can apply when I get to school. I have an extra toothbrush in my um, basket and the reason I have this is because last year when I was pregnant, I was sick a lot. Well, not last year, the year before that <laughs> when I was pregnant. I got sick a lot, so I had to keep a toothbrush and extra toothpaste inside of there um, because, yeah, I would get sick a lot during the day. It just was inevitable. There was just no way that I was not going to be sick. So I keep an extra toothbrush and toothpaste in there. I also keep, did I say deodorant? I think I said deodorant. Deodorant, lotions, um, perfumes in there. I will keep gum, Tic Tacs hair barrette and I tend to try to keep like a little ring of those really skinny hair barrettes too for my little girls because some of those girls will come in with their hair whew, all over the place looking like cousin it so um, I try to put their hair up if I can throughout the day when I see them come in that way because I just feel so bad so I keep that and I will also tell you if you are a first year teacher take an extra pair of clothes because I had this happen to me where a little child decided to vomit on me. Yes, it was no fun and I got really dirty and messy and I needed extra clothes and I didn't have extra pair of clothes. And I had a professor that sat there and told us, keep an extra pair of clothes in your car because you never know when you're gonna need it. Well now I'm sitting here in front of you telling you keep an extra pair of clothes in your car because you never know when you're gonna need it. So. There's that. Um, but yeah, I don't I don't like to tend to try to drag those back and forth, back and forth. So I just keep a little basket in my room that I can um, kind of go to that if I need it. And if I don't, then great. But there's no reason for me to put it in my bag if I just am I gonna have it at school anyway. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed taking a little peek inside of what is in my teacher bag. I know that I am naturally a very nosy person and I love to see what is inside everybody else's bag. So I hope you enjoyed that. And if you have any questions or other ideas or if you just want to say well done, please leave that down in the comments below. I love, love, love hearing from all of you. So thanks for watching. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, click that subscribe button so you can get my latest videos. Thanks for watching.